Hello everyone, so today we're going to be sharing with you how do you run ads on Lazada. So we'll do a demonstration today so all of you can understand how do you actually run an ads on Lazada. Some of my students told me that it's very complicated uh, for us to run an ads or create an ads in Lazada. So today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, two different ads that we'll be able to run on Lazada. Number one, it's sponsor discovery ads. And number two, it's sponsor affiliate ads. All right. So probably I'm going to split this session into two parts so that you don't have to listen to you know the video for too long. So let's get started with demonstrating one of my account actually, which is uh, selling my books on Lazada. So I'll be sharing my screen right now. All right, so this is the account that I use for selling my books, right? So as you can see, it has a full flash functions over here. So I've been selling my books on Lazada uh, since last year. So this is one of the channel that we are distributing our books. So besides Lazada, I'm also actually selling my books on uh, major bookstores such as Popular, such as uh, Aslit Malaysia and uh, Kinokuniya and uh, many other bookstores. So if you're interested to find out about my book, again, my name is Beyond. I'm a Malaysia Lazada Senior Certified Trainer. So for those of you that don't know yet, so I've re recently launched my book, E-Commerce Secret is a book in Mandarin. Hopefully, uh, I'll be doing English very, very soon. But if you are interested, you can come to Lazada to purchase the book. You just have to type in e-commerce secret or you type in my name you'll be able to get a copy of that or alternatively perhaps you can wait for our english version which i hope that will be coming very very soon so let's go back to the topic today which is sponsored uh, solutions all right so as you can see on the left hand side of the dashboard you'll be able to see sponsored solutions over here okay so you click in all right so you'll be able to see this page as i mentioned there are two different type of ads which including sponsored discovery and sponsored affiliate so there are these two different uh, type of advertisement that you can run on lazada so today we'll be focusing on sponsor discovery i'll do another session on sponsor affiliate so don't worry okay if you want to create a new ads just click new campaign all right so this is the place where you will be able to run your first ads after running the ads you'll be able to review your ads performance on the button over here which is management so i've run a couple of ads over here as you can see so you'll be able to review their performance by filtering on the date for example let's say i want to review these ads performance right i'll be able to filter last 30 days to observe what are the datas and uh, how is the performance of these ads okay so let's jump into uh starting our first ads so you just have to click create campaign or alternatively you can go to the home page over here to create new campaign from here all right so the first thing that you have to fill in is the campaign name all right so for campaign name normally i'll suggest for example if you are creating something that especially for let's say uh, Lazada birthday 33 has just recently passed, right? So you are creating something that is dedicated for that campaign. Probably you can name it as 33. And later on, I'll be sharing with you what kind of different ads are there in sponsored discovery. So normally I would like to name it, for example, 33 campaigns, right? Probably it's a auto run campaign. So I'll just type auto uh, run over here for my own reference and perhaps the campaign objectives i'll include as well so there are two types of campaign objective with which we will be covering later on so traffic and sales perhaps you are running a traffic or sales campaign for example traffic so i would like to type traffic over here so once you have decided your campaign name right so the next thing that you have to choose is campaign objective all right so later on on a session i'll be sharing with you also how do you actually run a good ads Right. Besides teaching you how do you run an ads, right? I'll teach you how do you actually run a good ads and what is the best practice according to Lazada. So currently, I'm sharing with you the best practice that according to Lazada. Actually, uh, we have talked to Lazada senior management for quite some time already. So what they suggested us as a rule of thumb is at least you need to run one automatic ad on Lazada and you are only allowed to run one single automatic ads on Lazada. The rest of the ads, you have to run it manually. All right. So for campaign objective, according to Lazada, the best practice is to 
select it as sales because the ultimate reason that we want to run ads is to generate sales right so over here campaign objective i would like to share with you is uh select uh, sales as an objective over here right and let's move on to the next placement so there's a small button over here once you select it you'll be able to select the placement that you want to do all right so there are two placement over here which is sponsor search and sponsored product okay so for sponsor search is just like our general keywords ads so for sponsor search ads right you'll be able to select the keywords that you want to choose all right for example if i'm selling book right i would like to use book as a keyword so when people when a customer potential customer is searching book as a keyword on a search bar my product will potentially be shown on the search page all right so the probability of your product showing up is depending on the bid price that you select for the product all right so that's sponsor search and secondly is the sponsored product all right so this is the advertisement that allows our product uh, come onto the home page or maybe suggest to the customer that is potentially liking the product or selecting or interested in the product that you are selling so lazada actually recommend us to click all as our placement so both sponsor search and both sponsor product and next campaign type this is very important as i mentioned you are only to allow run one automated ads okay you are only allowed to run one time automated ads right so i would like you to select automated but as a general rule of thumb i would like to recommend all my students you need to run at least at least three different kind of ads the first ads is automated ads which is fully run by lazada including the budget including uh, the keywords right uh, the budget actually you can set it your own later on and i'll be sharing with you so you'll be able to let lazada to fully decide you know what keywords you want to run and what is the bid price for those keywords that uh, you want to run and what kind of product you should be running on ads all right so if you select automated those things are the things that will be decided by lazada all right so this is the first kind of uh, advertisement you should be running a second type of advertisement that you should be running is uh, selecting your own product or which I like to call semi-auto uh, advertisement and the third type of advertisement you should be running is fully manual uh, campaign so in my suggestion uh, you need to run at least three different uh, types of campaign right so I'll be sharing with you how do you run the first type of campaign first which is fully auto campaign so once you selected automated right the next step will be daily budget okay so my recommendation and Lazada recommendation is 10 USD per day, which equivalent to around 40 ringgit per day, but it depending on your budget again. So it's up to you how much do you want to spend, but I recommend you not to be too little, uh, not as less, lesser than 10, because it won't generate you much result for you to analyze. So my recommendation is go for 40, or if you are running like multiple ads per day, at least you need to be spending 40 uh, ringgit uh, from there all right so for start date uh immediately right which is uh, today's date which is six all right so normally i wouldn't recommend you you know to set any end date all right once it's completed you click next okay if you are running fully auto campaign product selection page you wouldn't have to choose any product because lazada will help you to choose it automatically because i've run one uh automated ads at the moment so i wouldn't be able to run another automated ads uh, that is fully auto uh, in Lazada. All right, so I will select the products over here. So once I've selected the product, I click next. Okay, over here, you'll, you'll see creatives over here. What does it mean? A lot of students ask me what these creatives actually stands for. So these creatives actually uh, allows Lazada to select the product image that we want to let our customer to see okay so for example if i go to lazada right let's say i search my my own book beyond gun all right so i search my own book so this is my book right this is the main cover that i'm doing right now turning on but by enabling automatic creatives improvement it allows lazada to take the second third fourth image and make it to the first image 
all right so when customer is searching your product they'll be seeing another picture instead of your cover image that you have selected so normally i recommend uh, my students to turn this off okay because normally we'll spend the most time on designing or creating our cover photo so i wouldn't recommend you to turn it on so uh, normally i'll ask my student to disable this all right so and we click next you'll be able to review uh, all your informations over here so once it's done just press or hit submit button over here this is how you run your first fully automated campaign in lazada remember i shared with you at least there are three different types of campaign you should be running this is the first type of campaign that you should be running which is a fully auto campaign the second type of campaign that i want you to run it's semi-auto campaign what is semi-auto campaign so apart from product selection which is what i have demonstrated just now so remember i couldn't you know select uh, automated product selection because i've run my first automated campaign before that was essentially the semi-auto campaign all right so the remainings are the same so you just fill in accordingly and you click your campaign objectives as sales the third type of campaign that i want you to run is fully manual campaign okay so what is a fully manual campaign this is the tricky part so for fully manual campaign i would like you to select sales as objective as well all right so for placement i would like you to select all as well but for campaign type i would like you to select standard over here all right so for budget it's the same 40 ringgit all right so we click next and product selection i want you to select the product that you want to sell normally as a general rule of thumb i'll select those products have high add to cart rate okay so i'll talk about it in another video all right how do you select your ads product uh, from business advisor probably the link uh, somewhere over here or at the down below so you can check it out over there how do you utilize you know business advisor from lazada uh, utilize the data that lazada provide for us to run ads or pro for us to do any analysis all right so over here just select the product you know that you are confident or that you want to sell or that uh, you know you can sell well on lazada so over here you'll be able to choose your bid price okay over here you'll be able to choose your bid price so what does it mean bid price simply means that how much are you willing to spend for every click onto this product how much do you want to spend on every single click of the product so if you notice that there are a lot of you know different details over here including product quality score so they'll be sharing with you how much quality uh, does this product actually provides number two they're going to be sharing with you another things that is important which is pdp pv what does it actually means that is the page view all right what is the page view over the past seven days so i have 18 views for this book for the past seven days and the last one that I want you to take your attention to is the CVR, which is the overall conversion rate, all right, for these product, all right. So as you can see, this product have a 7% of conversion rate for the past seven days, all right. So you can select your bid price here. So if your product has good margin, probably you can make it a bit higher, one ringgit per click, all right. So you hit next, all right. So you can see apart from creatives, we have a lot more for us to select as compared to the automated ads, right? So again, I want you to turn it off because we have spent so much time on our cover photo, right? Okay, the next one we can select is the keywords, right? Is the keywords for our product selection. So if you like uh, Lazada to select your keywords automatically, uh, as we mentioned, uh, probably we can run semi-auto campaign but this time around we're gonna select our own keywords right so we select standard okay so next slot you'll be seeing over here for us to fill in is the first search slot right what does it mean it simply means what the name suggests so you'll be able to to increase your bid which i fill in just now right which is one ringgit how much more are you willing what are the percentage that you are willing to increase in order for your product to appear on the first search of the page 
right? So for example, if I'm willing to use 200%, increase my beats by 200% for all the product, you know, that I want to run, all right, this will be two ringgit, okay? And this is based on the bid price that I'm selecting from here, okay? This will be based on the price I'm selecting from here. So you can see, uh, this is a Mandarin word, by the way, it's kusi, it means dividend, all right? So if let's say today I decide to use dividend as a keyword in Mandarin, all right, to target my audience when they are searching my book, all right? I'm willing to use 69 cents from here, okay? So there's a 69 cents at the suggested bit, but I want all of you to take this suggestion as a pinch of salt, all right? Because the system tend to, you know, offer us a very high price from there. So normally, I'll ask my student to select the keywords that they want. Once after selecting it, Depending on your budget, if you have a lot of budget, you can start with maybe a, a, a higher bid price, which is maybe 50 cents or one ringgit. But if you don't have too much budget, I'll suggest you to go for maybe uh, 20 cents first. So you can select 20 cents from here. All right. So you'll be able to see what is the first search slot bid price. So I've selected first search slot bid price. It's 200% extra. So which comes, comes out to 60 cents in order to get the first search slot. All right, so I hope you guys can understand. So 100% simply means that, you know, 40 cents. So remember the one ringgit that I selected on the previous slide. Oh, let me do it again. So fully manual over here, fully manual, standard. I've set, uh, let's say 40 ringgit, right? Okay, I don't want you guys to get confused. So after selecting products, right? You guys will be able to see this bit price over here. Remember, this bid price is for sponsored product. It's not for sponsor search. All right. So for sponsored product is those that uh, outside of keywords ads, right? How much per click that you want to spend on every single click. All right. So for example, one ringgit, the second um, budget that you have to set is the keyword, every single keyword. What are the budgets that you would like to spend? If you want to increase more keyword, you know, there is some automated keywords over here for you to select from here, all right? There's automated keywords over here for you to select. If you don't like those keywords, just simply untick them, okay? And hit next. If you want to add keywords that is not here, that is not here suggested by Lazada, for example, if today I'm selling an e-commerce book, perhaps uh, those people that is buying bubble wraps will be e-commerce seller, right? So probably, you know, system doesn't, wouldn't suggest me bubble wrap as a keyword, right? Because I'm selling book, right? But uh, as a human, we, we are very creative. So we know that people that buy bubble wrap, uh, you know, majority of them are essentially e-commerce seller. Or you can see Pao Pao Zi, which is Mandarin over here, stands for bubble wrap. Probably these are my target audience as well. So I want to take it. All right, I hit next. So uh, I'll be able to select my bid price for these two keywords that I have selected and hit submit over here. Okay, so it will appear over here. Bubble wrap and pow pow zi. Okay, once I've selected the keywords that I want, I'll hit next. And over here is for us to review all the details that we have done just now. And lastly, hit submit button for us to submit our fully manual campaign in sponsored search or sponsored discovery. Okay, so remember what I've shared with you just now. As a general rule of thumb, we need to select at least, we need to create at least three different types of campaign, which is number one, fully automated campaign, which is fully selected by Lazada. Apart from the campaign objective, we want to select uh, sales as our objective. And remember to turn off uh, the creatives. And number two is semi-auto campaign. So apart from product selection, the remaining will be uh, selected by Lazada. And lastly, is the fully manual campaign, which essentially product selection, keyword selection is selected by us as a seller. All right. So I hope today's um, class will be helpful for you. Today's sharing will be helpful for you. Apart from sponsored discovery, we have another uh, advertisement that we are able to run on Lazada, which is sponsored affiliate. All right. So... For sponsored affiliate, I'll be sharing it on my next video. Probably I'll attach the link somewhere at the bottom or somewhere over here at the screen over here. So you can check it out 
if you are interested to find out more on how do you sell well or become an e-commerce expert uh, in Lazada. All right. So the next session, we'll be sharing with you on that. Thank you so much. Follow and subscribe my channel if you want to be an e-commerce expert. And my name is Beyond. I'll see you again very soon.